hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video we will have a practical example of what we discussed in the previous video so if you have seen my previous video what we discussed is the identifiers like one dollar dollar one dollar underscore ones and bookmark so we will see uh, some of the examples based on what we discussed all right so what I will going to do is uh, I will just remove this particular uh, table. So let me go into the edit mode here. I will just select and remove this by pressing the delete button uh, in the chart. I will add the KPI because it will be easy for us to understand with the help of the KPI. Probably I can add a little bit. So if I add a measure, uh, I can simply say sum of sales right and press tab so now the sale is 14.92 million and if i just uh, add a filter over here just to show you the impact i will add a filter pane over here uh, and we will let's expand out over here in a dimension let's add customer segment right so here we have a sum of sales 14.92 and if you remember from the previous video, it's basically saying either sum of sales or sum of dollar sales. If I press tab, nothing will happen. So this is basically uh, indicating that whatever current selections we will make, it will take those into the consideration. So now let's add the second KPI. And in this case, I'm going into expression editor and I'm saying sum and within the curly brackets i'm specifying one and if you remember it indicates that it will not take any selection that we are making into consideration so 14.92 14.92 sum of dollar sales indicating this sum of dollar one sale indicating this so let's click on done come into the front end and now let's make a selection so if i select do a selection on consumer you will see that some of dollar sales have taken the selection impact but some of dollar one sale have not taken the impact now you can think that such expression can how you can really modify such kind of an expression for example if you want uh, to have a kpi which is saying that uh, from 14.92 that means from overall sales reduce 3.06 based on the selection you are making so if those kind of conditions suppose you need to achieve then you can basically make an uh, you know effort by changing it the uh, set analysis with by specifying the identifiers all right uh, so that's the first thing uh, i wanted to show you the impact of the dollar and one how it takes an impact so for example if i just make one one more selection you will see that nothing nothing really happens or if i remove first selection just change the change will happen only in case of the dollar sales but not in case of the uh, one the f identifier which which basically says that i will not take any selection into the consideration and will not modify the value so that's about uh, the dollar, the difference between the practical difference between the dollar and one in the practical example. In the next video, I will show you the uh, the scenarios of uh, dollar one and dollar underscore one.